Bella, we are going to be reading chapter three, Jeannie B. Jones, Toothless Wonder. Chapter three is called, Ow! I walked home from my bus stop very slow. Walking is good for thinking, I think. Talking is good for thinking too. I just wish I wasn't the first one, that's all, I said out loud to myself. I wish the other children in room one were losing their teeth too. Then all of us would look toothless together and no one would throw fruit. I did a big breath at me. Yeah, only that is the weirdest thing I've ever heard of, I said. Because you can't make other children have loose teeth, Junie B. I rolled my eyes. Yeah, only I already know that, Junie B, I said. But I really don't want to be first, and so why can't my tooth just stay in my mouth a little longer? That's what I would like to know. I crossed my arms on myself. Because you keep wiggling it, that's why, I said. But if you didn't wiggle it, it would get tight again. Did you ever think of that, huh? Did you? I walked and walked some more. Then all of a sudden, I did a gasp, because I did think of that, ha! Huh! I ran to my house speedy quick. My grandpa Frank Miller was babysitting my fussy brother named Ollie. Grandpa Miller, I know what to do about my tooth. I know what to do about my tooth, I hollered real happy. Grandpa Miller was bouncing Ollie on his lap. Ollie was wearing his drool bib. Also, he was slobbering and chewing on his arm. Ollie will not be popular in school, probably. Mother says he is drooly and fussy because he will be getting teeth soon. She is kidding herself, I think. Just then, Ollie started to cry. Grandpa Miller looked weary of that boy. I took Ollie away from him. Don't worry, Grandpa. I know how to calm this baby down, I said. After that, I potted, patted Ollie's back very nice. Then I hummed really soft in his ear, and I put him in the hall closet. <sighs> Grandpa quick got him out of there. He put Ollie in his playpen, and he gave him animal crackers. Animal crackers are crackers that, be, that make babies stop crying. Also, I enjoy an occasional cracker myself. After Ollie stopped fussing, Grandpa Miller came back to the kitchen and he put me on his lap. Okay, little girl, I'm ready to listen to your news now, he said. What were you saying about your tooth? Did it get any looser at school today? I clapped my hands together. That's what I was going to tell you, Grandpa Miller, I said, because at school I found out that I'm the first person in room one to lose the top front tooth. And so at first I felt proud about that news, only I got nervous on account of who wants to look like toothless Uncle Lou, that's why. And so I had a long talk with myself and hooray, hooray, I decided not to lose my tooth after all. My grandpa raised his eyebrow at me. Really? He said, you're not gonna lose your tooth, huh? Do you really think you can do that, honey? Yes, I said, I know I can do it, grandpa, cause all I have to do is not wiggle it anymore and then it'll get real tight in my mouth again. I'm sure of it, I'm positive. I reached to my mouth and touched my tooth very light with my finger. Yep, I said, I can feel it. It's tighter already. I opened my mouth and pointed. See, Grandpa, see how tight it's getting? Grandpa Miller squinted his eyes. Gee, honey, I don't know, he said. Still looks pretty loose to me. Then, without even asking, he reached to my mouth and he started to wiggle it. No, I yelled, no, no, no. I snapped my mouth shut. How, said Grandpa Miller. He quick pulled out his finger. Ow, I said right back, because I felt a pinch, that's why. I poked all around with my tongue. Something did not feel right there. My heart started to pound very fast. I held my breath. Then I opened my mouth kind of sickish and I spit my tooth right into my hand. And that's the end of chapter three.